Uh, my name is Greg Gabadate. I'm an associate director for physics at Simons Foundation in the uh, division of mathematics and physical sciences, and I'm chair of physics department at uh, New York University. The programs that exist, they are great programs, extremely high quality. I would like to diversify a little bit more in terms of the fields covered, so that would be one goal. Uh, that, that concerns both Simon's collaborations as well as Simon's investigators. Uh, another goal is to uh, support uh, the, the, uh, the progress of Simon's Observatory and Simon's Array. Those are very important projects. They're going to define a field of a cosmic micro background for the coming 10 years or so. I feel very enthusiastic about uh, that part. And we're going to learn, uh, hopefully, some fundamental things about very early universe, such as uh, primordial gravity waves, uh, we hope to learn a lot about dark energy, uh, equation of state, whether it's a kind of cosmological constant or something evolving in time. Dark energy is a name of a substance that we believe exists in our universe, which has very unusual properties. It has negative pressure, uh, and through that negative pressure, it creates effectively anti-gravity or uh, effective repulsion between uh, you know, galaxies and clusters of galaxies and gives rise to the accelerated expansion of the universe. Without dark energy, universe would have been expanding but with deceleration because gravity is an attractive force. Once you have dark energy in that space, it, it gives rise to the accelerated uh, expansion. As to my work, my background is in theoretical particle physics. I started to work on, on questions related to that, how to do reliable calculations where interactions between particles are, are strong. This is extremely important for description of the, the outcomes of the experiments. There is a Simons collaboration, it's called Non-Perturbative Bootstrap. Uh, they develop mathematical and computational tools for understanding quantum field theories in the regimes in which interactions are strong. This has something to do with uh, properties of elementary particles as to why do you have three generations and not four and not five? Why do you have the mass arrangements that we measure and not other ones? Why interactions, those type of interactions, why the symmetries that these interactions exhibit and in cosmology fundamental questions about dark energy, dark matter, beginning of the universe. Well, those are big questions which definitely uh, bother me day and night. I grew up in uh, Tbilisi. Back then, when I was in high school, that was still Soviet Union. And that was a different, very different system with very few options if you wanted to do uh, something creative, and by that I mean sports as well, as well as arts and sciences. Of course, collapsing of all the uh, values in, in the former Soviet Union, in particular values related to science. It was a very different environment from the one in which I entered, and therefore that made me think that perhaps I should go to places in which those values are upheld. Uh, and the United States was a, was a natural choice. So. I would like to imagine a planet in other solar system, which is not ours, and uh, which is almost as beautiful as Earth, but for perhaps other conditions, maybe there is a race over there, similar to humans, but more peaceful uh, with each other. So that would be my favorite planet. <laughs>